Hello everyone! Good day! Today we will have the new or your favorite topic. It's all about the art. So, what is our art today? The so last time we have the cartoonist or we have the we make or create our own cartoon. So today naman, it will be a nice. It will be more on, um, it's all about being happy because today we will create the creating my superhero so you're going to decide who are you going to create and of course it should be unique dapat kayo lang po mismo yung nakagawa ng superhero niyan and of course it should have um traits or mga ugaling kagaya sa inyo para it will suitable to your creation by yours truly teacher sanli so you just need to sit down and listen to teacher so, how to create my superhero? We have the steps here to make it into simpler. So, one, we have to sketch your ideal superhero in a band paper. This is the very first foundation. We need to use the band paper and the pencil to sketch our own superhero. So, let's start with the shapes, circles, lines until we create the superhero. Like, for example, here. Um, the the creator uses circle, then put a line, make those different shapes until it create into these superheroes. This is only a sketch. So, ang next na gagawin dito, after sketching, I know you already know how to sketch because we use sketching since the day one of our art. In making or creating something like cartoons or Mga cartoonist, mga logo, so we use that sketching first. The sketching is the very first or the foundation. And number two, we need to scan your sketch with scanner or cell phone to digitize. Again, you may use a scanner if you have or if you don't have, you can use only your cell phone like that. Bakit ginagamit natin yung cell phone and scanner? For us to um, digitize the sketch that we had kasi pag hindi siya naka-digitize so we can't able to edit our sketch um, superhero in the computer or in any software kaya kailangan po munang scan kung wala, you may install any software or any applications that is compatible to your cell phone again, pwede po kayong mag mag install ng any application or software that is compatible sa cellphone nyo para ma-digitize or ma-scan yung work nyo or yung sketch nyo. After scanning, you need to open your editing software in this image. Then, cartoonist edit it with the use of Adobe Photoshop. Again, Adobe Photoshop using pen tool, outline your sketch. So, first you need after scanning, you need to open your Adobe Photoshop application. Dun yung po kasi e -e edit yung um, tawag dito, e yung superhero nyo. So, kung makakita nyo po sa may edges or sa mga sa may gilid. Meron siyang mga outline. So, ang ginamit po ditong software is the Adobe Photoshop. Then, the creator used the pen tool. Dito po yung pen. And dito, this is the pen tools. Then, he chooses or she chooses a pen to outline her sketch. So, nagkaroon siya ng mga outline sa gilid para magkaroon ng um, magkaroon, makadraw siya ng mga lines, he or she uses the pen tool. Again, the Adobe Photoshop is the software that he uses or the creator or cartoonist uses. Number four, after putting an outline or after outlining the sketch work, you need to use the paint bucket and brush tool to add color. So, this is the this is the, so andito yung tool, you will use the, um, you will choose the brush and you will choose any color here in the color palette. palette. And after choosing a color, you can just paint it here. 
dito sa may shirt niya or any, kahit sa buhok niya, if you like, sa hands niya. So, why do we add colors? Because adding colors makes us more life or create more happiness in our superhero. And of course, color is the, do the most dominant element in art. Kaya kailangan po na um, our work should have a color kasi it will give more emphasis and it will give more enlightenment if we had color. Do you want to see a superhero with black and white only? No, because it will look like a doll. Gusto niyo po ba na parang paint, 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 Pay lang siya. Um, it, do you like to be look like la walang kabuhay-buhay? So, no. We don't like that. Kaya kailangan natin to add color, to add emphasis, to add life, or to add more um, effect with the sketch work. After adding color by the use of brush here, by the using the brush tool and the color palette here on the other side, after that, we need to... Number five is to gradient tool creates gradual blend between multiple colors. So, paano nga ba yung gradient? Ano nga ba yung gradient tool? So, here is the gradient tool. You can um, you can actually look at here. You can search here the gradient tool. and Andito po siya. Then, you can choose one. Then, color of. May color na kasi siya para siyang gray. So, you can just blend it dito sa mga lines to create this something na nakikita niyo po ba something na may shade siya or something na may brighten para to create a blend so kailangan po yung blue then white so i-gradient niyo lang po yan to create something like brightened blue or dito naman pero hindi naman lahat um, you may just create on the other side para may effect lang. So, the use of gradient tool is to have an effect or to shade something to create um, para siyang illusions to create something illusion. So, napapansin nyo, the best example here is this part. This part. So, the cartoonist uses the gradient. Here is the gradient. And this one... So, dito niya blinend para magkaroon ng ganitong kulay. Napapansin niya po, the blue here is different from the um, blue on the other side. So, by the use of gradient, you can create another or you can blend another color between the colors in the lines. So, after that, after creating your, your superhero with the use of gradient tool, you need to... Number six, you can also add an overlay to darken the color. Paano nga ba natin ma-add yung overlay? So, we can just use here another brush sa my tool. You choose here sa my tool. Then, choose the color here in the color palette. Then, you will, ang gagawin niyo po is, i-add niyo pa po ng color. Dito sa ma yung part na to. Um, the cartoonist uses the paint, this one, this color, and overlay it in his shirt. So, napapansin nyo po, mas nagdarken yung shirt niya than kanina. So, let's see. Ito po yung, this is the shirt kanina in, um, in step 4. So, as you can see, the difference is, it is still lighted or super light niya pa. Pero, on the 6th stage, by the use of an overlay, here in the tool, so, it gives us more darkness to uh, match the shirt to the, um, yung effect niya sa may ulo. Kailangan hindi masyadong light kasi yung sa, sa taas, is hindi naman siya masyadong light din. Kaya, we need to um, have balance of the use in color. Kailangan nakabalance po ito. Then, lastly, for our step 7, is you need to think about the name of your superhero. Include the name in your output and then save the file. So, after creating your superhero by having the sketch in a band paper, then scanning, outlining, adding color, gradient, 
um, adding color gradient overlay. So here we are going to think na our name or the name of our superhero. We can think any as long as na hindi pa siya nagagamit. Again, bawal po yung mga superhero na Spider-Man. Bawal na yan kasi nagamit na yung name na yan. Kaya, I, you need to um, think the unique name of a superhero. Yung hindi pa talaga nagagamit. Huwag kayong magpapasa ng, ng name na nagamit na kasi that will be na, that will be a copyright from the other cartoonist. Kaya kailangan, you need to create your own name or you need to think about the name of your superhero. Like for example, here. So, SG is the logo or the logo of the superhero here. Then, this is the final touch of the superhero. As you can see, um, um, yung colors niya is very light. Ano siya? Balance. So, the gradient here is visible, the darkening or the overlay. So, yung hands is hindi masyadong dark because it is, it should be fresh. Then, the name is Soap Guard. SG stands for as Soap Guard. Hindi po siya copyright because we don't have a superhero called to be Soap Guard. We only have Safeguard but that's not a copyright also because safeguard and soap guard is different. So, that's the trick. Kailangan niyo pong mag-isip ng pangalan na unique and different. Hindi po kailangan na mangopya. Then, yung, yung superhero niyo, hindi naman siya kailangan talaga na very formal. Kasi, as you can see here, may mga karikatsur din pong ginamit. Like, for example, the body. So, maliit yung um, katawan niya, but his head is so large. Kaya, anything, anything na pwede niyong gamitin. So, you can just add also caricature to add more fun. That's all for today and please watch watch the activity or look your activity posted in your classroom. I hope to see you guys soon. Goodbye!